here with Mark from Energy Fenestration Solutions. Thank you, Mark, for hanging out with us a little bit yeah, this morning. Yeah, no worries. Perfect. So tell us a little bit about uh, Energy. So we're a major extruder in North America. Uh, we still believe we have the number one position. Um, uh, we have six facilities uh, in North America, uh, two in Toronto, so an extrusion facility, mm -hmm. uh, compounding facility, extrusion in Montreal, uh, patio door manufacturing in Montreal, mm -hmm. and then extrusion in the Pittsburgh area and uh, the Seattle area. You guys are actually right down the street from our Pittsburgh plant, so we're, yes. we're, we're very close and, yeah. and uh, we've, uh, we've been friendly for quite some time since FlexGreen has started producing. So. Absolutely. I mean, we see uh, our customers talk about it, uh, your product, and we need to position ourselves to be able to help them. Yeah. So what was your, you guys saw FlexScreen years ago, what was your, what was your impression? Oh, certainly a neat product. Uh, and, and I think that goes with a lot of innovative type products that uh, it, somebody thought out of the box, uh, created something that was very different, and it catches your, your eye, catches your attention. Uh, then it's converting it into the serious side of the business. Sure. And, and as you gain market share, uh, we see the need to um, participate in that in that market. We see some benefits for our customers that um, maybe are not necessarily associated with their customer's customer, but uh, for instance on the painting side of the equation, sure. we see more and more color in the market space where you have an exterior screen. Mm -hmm. uh, your screen, the flex screen, doesn't need to be painted. It sure. hides right in the pocket. It hides right in the pocket. So we see that benefit to, to the customer base. And I know uh, in, in the US, painting and, and exterior colors is growing, but in Canada, it's been very popular for a while. It's a huge percentage it of the is. market. I mean, we've, got, we've got customers that paint 350 colors uh, in their in their color palette on, a, on an annual basis so highly customized from a, uh, a home builders perspective but uh, you're right I mean all that color and all that timeline you know it has just has our market or the Canadian market ahead of the US market for sure now speaking of the Canadian market you know one of the um, things and we have to thank you because you guys came up with the very first made for flex screen window yes um, so it's a, it's a casement which is huge in, in Canada um, cool. Um, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. So, uh, as you said, casements are a big part of the Canadian market space. There's no doubt about it from coast to coast. And uh, as a result, um, uh, again, as we see demand for the product, we had to make some adjustments to what we needed to do to satisfy our customer base. So today, and we, we've carried this on, um, we've, we've made some changes in the dimension to the top of the tower on the casement frame mm -hmm. to accommodate a pocket that will allow the use of flex screen. But we need to be flexible enough understanding that not everybody may want to sure. use a flex screen product, so they're still having to use a traditional aluminum roll form screen. Just the really smart customers use flex screen, that, that's all. <laughs> that's, that's the way it goes, but we have to be, we have to be flexible from the perspective sure. of we need to accommodate a variety of things. Mm -hmm. um, so now we're incorporating that into a number of platform window systems that we're developing. So it's our a go forward strategy. The cost of extrusion tools and the resources to cut these tools and the timeline to cut tools, we can't afford to make mistakes. So sure. we need to try and uh, look down the road and see where the market's going to be and put solutions together today for what may be utilized in two years time or some some timeline like that. I, I can tell you the the window that you guys designed that has flex screen and, and um, is just, it's it's beautiful. It really is. I mean, the, you guys did, and of course incorporating the flex screen is, is awesome, but right. the rest of the design is great. I mean, when the when the sash closes into the frame and you can see right through there, I mean, it's it, it makes the window look huge. Well, it, one of the market trends that we're seeing is outside of the color side of the equation is that people want more glass area and see less frame. So as we start to reduce that frame height, uh, you now need complementary products to uh, again uh, let the consumer uh, achieve their objective of more glass sure. and the flex screen product fits right into that equation so as we lower the frame increase the glass area right. you now have a screen solution that is totally invisible to the consumer yeah. and it plays well with that that low sight line right so if, if you did all that work to make that that frame smaller and then stuck a screen on it, it ruins the effect. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So, well thank you so much for um, for everything, for being great partners. We do have a, a little um, 
parting gift for you here. Oh, great. Um, thank you very so much. So you can fit in with the rest of the <laughs> rest of the cool kids here. But, right. but really, thank you. I really appreciate everything. No, and, you're quite and, welcome. Um, good luck with everything this coming year. All right. Yeah. You too. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.